Do you know Facebook? No. <laughs> okay. No. What the hell is the point anyway? Goodbye, Bumble. Welcome to Quarant Tinder. Quarant Tinder? What's that? Tampoco Instagram? What's Quarant Tinder? What's Quarant Tinder? Tampoco Snap? What's Quarant Tinder? What the hell is this? Quarant Tinder? What's Quarant Tinder, you ask? Quarant Tinder! For all you sad singles stuck inside, and all you crazies who don't believe in science, it turns out opening the country was a bad idea. So we bring you the dating app we all deserve. Quarant Tinder. From the makers of Vine, LinkedIn, MySpace, LimeWire, and the amazingly successful FryFest comes Quarant Tinder. Now that all the other dating apps have filed bankruptcy like Chuck E. Cheese, we have the perfect app to satisfy your social distancing needs. All my social distancing needs. Wait a minute. Social distancing needs? That doesn't sound very appropriate. Hold the phone, Mom. <laughs> Stop right there. Quarantender is totes appropriate. In fact, our first name was More Appropriate Tender. But that's a terrible name. Don't worry, Quarantender is exactly what everyone's always wanted in a dating app. Here's how it works. Enter your username. You enter your info. Ooh. What? No pics? No pictures. No pictures. We put the guessing game back into dating. Wait. No beach picture? What about photos of me at the gym? No visual proof you exist of any kind. What about my fish collection? No pets. No moms. No duck faces. No pictures of your junk-ass car. What about workout pics not at the gym? No political memes. No pics of rustic pieces of broken wood. Sorry, Grandma. Sorry, pictures of drunk-ass girls at country concerts. None. No. No one cares how much you've cleaned your house during quarantine. Well, what about my adorable kid? Absolutely no pictures whatsoever of your children. And as of May 1st, you can no longer use emojis and animated filters. Can I at least talk to them like a unicorn? No. How will he know that I love him without 129,000 heart emojis? Everyone is forced to use their words. Wow. This is so simple, it's like every other dating app I've used, but better. Quarantender's by far the best new dating app since COVID-19. Quarantender has endless space for information about yourself, and who you are as a human. So much room and time for personal, loaded, and revealing questions, like... Where do you live? What's your blood type? Wait, what's your name again? Do you have any deformities or large, gross scars? What's your favorite color? <laughs> it's like, what's your favorite band? You ever heard of Nickelback? Look at this on the ground! Every time- Warning! Do not share all information. I love asking questions. Finally enough that lets me- Wait, what about people like me? What am I supposed to ask? Everyone's favorites! Do you like history? What's your social security number? Are you a Trump supporter? What have you been doing during quarantine? Do you like stuff? Are you sick or not? Favorite hand sanitizer scent. Xanax or Advent? What's the real difference? You still get Subway after the Jared scandal. And if so, how? Do you want a gun? Not one. You can even post detailed descriptions of your quarantine routine. Push-ups. More push-ups. Or dancing. There's never enough room to describe all the wonderful things about me. Other dating apps are quite restrictive on the amount of characters you can use to describe one's interests. Not Quarantender. With no pictures, there's infinite space for... The most important 500 videos since 2018! I can finally fit my manifesto on my dating profile. Thanks, QT. All of my poetry. All the reasons I'm vegan. I didn't write this doctoral thesis for nothing, am I right? Quarantender! 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 Fun for the entire family! People everywhere are hooked on Quarantender and all the amazing conversations you can have on it. Just look! Hey Jessica, what's up? How's quarantine? Ah, uh, me too. You're funny. 
Man, I wish it wasn't quarantine. Delaneo. So, um, what do you look like? I don't know. Awkward. <laughs> I don't really describe myself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, can you try? Quarantine is a little boring. Yeah? But I'm grateful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, grateful. Yeah. Are you sure there's no snap? So, what do you want to talk about? IDK, dot dot dot. What do you want to talk about? I don't know what you want to talk about. I really don't know what to talk about. You want to play a game? What game? A forensic psychologist. <laughs> yup. I've never heard of it. Just committed a murder. Yeah. I'm a sketch artist. Ready to crack that case wide open. <laughs> yeah. Give me exact details. <laughs> so you're French? Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. French guys are usually hot. Great. So what would you do if we weren't quarantined? Hey, what's your pick? We can't show pics, silly. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm pretty athletic, you know. Delamayo. Quarantine has made it a little hard, but my clothes still look good, you know? What about you? Well. Hello? What do you want to talk about? Just tell me what you want to talk about and we will talk about it! Everything's gonna be okay, guy. Just impress him with your knowledge. Edgar Allan Poe, Emily Dickinson, Oscar Wilde, Robert Frost, Langston Hughes, Homer, William Shakespeare, Robert Burns, John Keats, Henry Wallace, Ruth Longfellow, Tupac, William Blake. Wait. How tall are you? These conversations are totes amazing. So what are you doing? Can she show a picture to my dog? I'm not gonna lose my interest. What if someone like reads that I like books and then stalks me at Barnes & Noble or something? Quarantine her. Barely met her. It's basically socially accepted catfishing. Everyone always puts up the best picture of themselves. It's so boring. I usually post a picture of someone else anyways. Usually guys. See, my trick is, I get them to describe their males. <laughs> then I, I know whether or not they're uh, I would never fucking talk to a fucking girl unless I knew she could suck my Five ass. words. You like Star Wars? Can I just make up asking stick as This way, I can introduce them to my mom and meet them on the same day. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care about looks. <laughs> but they don't get to see me either. Suckers. <laughs> oh my god. They combined two of my favorite things in the whole world. Tinder and the voice. The closest I'll get to an arranged marriage as Christian. Join Quarantinder today and get 50% off a VIP ticket to our first annual Quarantinder Fest live in everyone's favorite southern party town, New Orleans, Louisiana. That's right, the Big Easy has never been so easy. What does that mean? Quarantinder Fest. Come out to Bourbon Street, the only street in the world still fully open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No social distancing! So how will we stay safe during COVID-19? Great question! Bourbon Street's finest. Hurricanes and hand grenades. We're killing germs with Mother Nature. War and rubbing alcohol. The way God wanted it. You're not serving Corona, are you? Hell to the no. No Mexican beer of any kind. All Corona beer is banned. It's the way our president wanted it. We don't want to get sick, do we? We don't want to get the virus, do we? I finally get to see what the man I shared my soul with looks like. Absolutely not. Everyone, everyone, everyone gets a big paper sack. While we're in quarantine, you don't get to see shit. It's like my wedding day. But unlike your wedding, you don't want to miss this. Don't miss these special guests. Dr. Phil, Dos Equis most interesting man alive. The bald guy screaming in the face of officers in the Michigan courthouse. Season 5 American Idol winner, Taylor Hicks, singing the Chili's Baby Back Rib song in 14 different languages. The cast of Sex in the City, except we've got the men, minus Mr. Big. A Zoom reunion show with the cast of Two Broke Girls. Six real-life New Orleans newly released sex offenders. Sugar Ray, the entire roster of the 1980 New Orleans Aints, and Baker Mayfield. The caveman, and you guessed it, Nadia. The tiger from the Bronx Zoo who fell sick to COVID-19. Yeah, I think she's fine now. Yeah, I love tigers ever since I watched The Tiger King. But you'd better watch out. If you take the paper bag off your head, you'll have to answer to this man. Man, quarantine sounds extreme. Every word I write says much more about me than my looks. So when do I get to see her? When this whole thing is done and people stop being stupid. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that could be a long time, QT. Till then? So, I'm pretty tall. I work out like every single day, bro. 
I'm a vegetarian, of course. <laughs> oh, also, I love orchestra music, bro. Yes. <laughs> we got sculptures and shit. Oh, I fucking love 3D art, man. A boom. <laughs> Call me. So, what do you want to talk about? Let's not start that again. Quarantender, the dating app we may not all deserve, but now we all get. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, I'm a mage and you're a rogue and we're somewhere where the virus isn't. Roll! What the hell are you doing? Give me that! Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm making Thanks, Quarantender. Please don't let it come to this. Quarantender. I met my wife on Quarantender. And I still haven't seen her face. Quarantender rocks!